Good evening and welcome to Morris's Midweek Message. I read a story about William Randolph Hearst this week. He was a very important and influential newspaper man in the United States at the early part of the 20th century. He owned about 30 newspapers. He was very, very rich and he also had a huge art collection. One day he saw a picture of two paintings. And these caught his eye and he thought, I must have these paintings. So he called his assistant in and said, look, find me these two paintings. Um, pay whatever needs to be paid to purchase them. But I want these paintings for my collection. So the assistant went out and searched. It took quite a while. Others were involved, phoning, traveling the country. And to their surprise, and delight they discovered where the pictures were. And they weren't far away. They were in this very city where Mr. Hurst lived. So excited, the assistant went in and said, Sir, we have found the pictures and we know where they are and they're here in this city. Well, Mr. Hurst was excited. Well, take me to where they are, he said. And so they jumped into his limousine and travelled to the other side of the town. And they pulled up outside this warehouse. Sir, the paintings are in this warehouse. Well, he saw the look of incredulity on Mr Hurst's face and he wondered... What was wrong? And so he said, what's wrong, sir? And Mr. Hurst said, the paintings are in this warehouse. Yes, they're in this warehouse. I own this warehouse, said Randolph Hurst, and everything in it. So all along, this treasure that he yearned for he already owned. Many of us have been at home for 10 days, a fortnight now, and well, the TV isn't giving us the satisfaction that it once did, so maybe we've decided to do other things. And I do know some people have decided to do a spring clean and to clear the attic or the spare room or whatever. And if you've been doing that, I'm sure there's a possibility that as you've been doing that, memories have been stirred of things of yesteryear that you'd forgotten about. Maybe you opened up a photograph album and there was a picture of you and your brother or sister with your mum and dad at Port Rush on holiday. And suddenly you can smell the sea and you can envisage going down the helter skelter at Barry's and all those wonderful memories hidden deep in your heart have come to the fore. They were always been there but you've forgotten about them. I think in these days when Every time we read a newspaper or watch the news, we are surrounded and bombarded by the facts and the statistics and the figures around coronavirus. And it worries us. And maybe as we have got worried and uh, concerned, not only about ourselves, but our family, maybe about our job and so on, We have decided maybe it would be a good thing to pray. And starting to pray again, we have then discovered a hidden treasure in our hearts of God's Word. Verses of Scripture that we learnt as children in Sunday school. Maybe a faith that we once had that burned bright 
as a teenager but got lost as we got into university or to work and then we got married and had children and suddenly now this treasure hidden in our hearts comes to the fore maybe we've had uh, an anxious day or two and and as we've prayed God says peace Jesus says peace I leave with you my peace I give on to you maybe we're worried about the future where are we going to go are we going to get this virus what's going to happen and then Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life there's a treasure trove there to be mined in your heart there's a God to be rediscovered a saviour who will welcome you back as a friend so start to hide God's word in your heart again but not deeply hidden store it up for today and tomorrow but also know it's really relevant for today God's word speaks his truth into the chaos of the moment and can bring about his peace may his peace be with you tonight and forevermore shall we pray father we give you thanks for your word and though maybe it has been a while since we've opened it and read it suddenly as we have turned to you and asked for help that treasure trove of verses from long ago has burst into our memory Father, we ask that you would be with us as we journey through these next days together. We pray for those who are working through this time in our hospitals, keeping our infrastructure going, filling up the supermarket shelves, keeping the electric light flowing. We pray your protection on those who are working hard to protect this community. We pray for their protection. We ask, Father, for those who have contracted this coronavirus and are ill in hospital. We pray that they may recover. We know that some people have died and therefore there are families mourning this day. Be with them, we pray. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. May we follow it. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Could I just tell you about one or two things that are happening um, in these coming days? Uh, next Sunday, Palm Sunday, we'll be having our service. It will be going out at 11 o'clock. There will be others taking part in it. Elaine's going to do, be doing a little children's spot. We're going to have some music. Uh, and Kathy is going to be leading our prayers. Unfortunately, we won't be able to have communion as we had planned, but we can still meet together and worship together. Then next week, uh, there will be, from Monday to Thursday, uh, a little thought and reflection from me uh, on some of the events that happened during that first Holy Week. Uh, and then on Good Friday, 
the ministers of the presbytery will be reading the passion story together we're each doing our little part it'll all be knit together and we'll be going out uh, on our our different websites uh, on friday and then of course on easter sunday morning we will be meeting together to worship so please stay safe and if there are are any if there's anything we can do to help uh, phone call to the months uh, if I can speak or pray with you if we can bring some practical help we will do our best to do so so may I wish you good night keep well God bless